find out the wrong number in the following sequence. Okay, whenever we say that we have a sequence of numbers, we mean that there is some formula to calculate the next number or there is some pattern, you know, in calculation of the numbers. So let's see what pattern does this sequence has. Well, if you take the first two numbers and if you take the difference of these two numbers, 582 and 605, you'll see that you have to add 23 to 582 to get 605. Now let us take the next pair, 605 and 588. You'll see that you have to subtract 17 from 605 to obtain 588. Now let us analyze the next pair, 588 and 611. You'll again see that you have to add plus 23 to get 611 from 588, right? Now you see there is a pattern getting formed. You add 23 for the first time and then you subtract to get the next number. Then again add 23 and then subtract 17, right? So let us subtract 17 from 611 and see if we obtain 634. Well, 611 minus 17 does not give you 634. It gives you 594, right? So this is the wrong number in the sequence. This should be 594, right? So now no need to analyze the rest of the series. So our answer is the 634 is the wrong number, option A. Okay, what could be the answer of this question? Well, by looking at these numbers, you may say that there is, you know, a relationship of subtraction. That is, you need to subtract some number to get the next number because the numbers are reducing. But in this case, the numbers are reducing drastically. Right, so subtraction is not the case here. We need to divide the first number with some number to obtain the second number. And again, divide the second number to obtain the third number. So this way, if you consider division, the numbers get reduced quickly. In case of subtraction, they are gradually reduced. So let's see what is the relation between the first two numbers. So I'm going to make use of the calculator here. In order to obtain a relationship between 46,080 and 3840, let us divide the first number by the second number. So 46,080 divided by 38,040. Right, so this is equal to 12. So I need to divide 46,080 by 12 to obtain 3840. Now, what is the relation between the second number and the third number? Well, if you divide 3840 by 10, you get 384 isn't it? Let us see the relation between 384 and 48. So I divide 384 by 48 and that gives me 8. So I need to divide 384 by 8 to obtain 48 in other words. Right. Now let's see what's you know the relation between 48 and 24. So 48 divided by 24 and that's 2. So 48 divided by 2 gives you 24 and 24 divided by 12 should give you 2. So basically you see you are seeing a pattern getting formed here. 12 then you divide the second number by 10 and then you divide the third number by 8 so and so on. So the problem lies here actually. Had this been 6 because the numbers are getting reduced by 2. So this should have been 6 then it would have been correct but this is 2 Hence, 24 is obtained as a wrong number, right? So, the wrong number in the following sequence is 24. Now, what could be the answer of this question? Well, if you observe carefully, you are seeing this 16 as a constant, right? Every alternate number is a 16. And if you look at the other numbers, we have, you know, just just remove 16 now. So the other numbers are 5. So 5 plus 1 gives you 6. Then 6 plus 1 gives you 7. And 7 plus 1. This should be plus 1, right? Because that's the pattern getting followed previously. So plus 1, this should be 8, right? So 
here lies the problem right hence this 9 should be 8 so hence 9 is the wrong number so option A is the correct answer what is the answer of this question now so let us find the relationship between the first and the second well if you add 7 to 6 you get 13 so plus 7 now you need to add 5 to obtain 18 from 13 right and 18 plus 7 gives you 25 and 25 plus 5 gives you 30 and 30 plus 7 gives you 37 and here 37 should be added with 5 to obtain this next number right so this next number is wrong isn't it 37 plus 5 should give me 42 this should be 42 right hence this is the wrong number so option D is the correct answer so find out the wrong number in this sequence okay let us identify the relationship between the numbers and see what is the pattern being followed well to obtain 72 you need to add something to 56 right and that number that is needed to obtain 72 from 56 you know you need to add 16 to obtain 72 from 56 now to obtain 90 from 72 you need to add 18 right and to obtain 110 from 90 you need to add 20 isn't it and from 110 if you add 22 you get 132 right so you see there is a pattern you know getting formed so 16 plus 2 18 plus 2 20 plus 2 22 so here it should be plus 24 isn't it and 132 plus 24 does not give you 150 it should give you 156 right so 150 is the wrong number here so option D is the correct answer 